and welcome to Newsmakers. I'm your host, Nancy Lewis. We're here today in the Truman Presidential Library, which you see behind us in the Oval Office, which is amazing. Um, we're going to talk about the Clean Power Plan in Missouri. We're here with today with Missouri Representative Jack Bondin. Thanks for being here. Absolutely. Thank you, Nancy. So, people who don't know about it, explain what this Clean Power Plan is. The Clean Power Plan is an EPA rule that was proposed by the Obama administration, and it's to limit the amount of carbon dioxide that uh, fossil fuel-powered coal plants are able to emit. Uh, and I view it largely as a federal power grab, really them coming into the state of Missouri and taking control of our power supply from Washington, D.C. You know, it seems like there, there may be some people out there who say, oh, you know, limiting those emissions may not be such a horrible thing. Right. So, but what you're saying is it should be your, our choice. Absolutely. You know, energy has typically been the state's prerogative, uh, and this is an ideologically driven, driven uh, uh, motivation. Now, I have a daughter, and I want to pass on this earth in as clean of a way as possible. But we can't just let our ideology dictate uh, the rates that our consumers pay. And it really will affect the people that I represent. Uh, consider that uh, on the low end, it's 50% increase in the consumer's rates. And my people call me all the time saying, Jack, our utility rates are too high. I just can't keep doing this. Uh, and so I don't think it's good for the people that I represent. So you filed a bill, right? Yes, ma'am. Um, that would prohibit the uh, Department of Natural Resources from implementing a state plan for purposes of compliance with this EPA plan, right? right? So last week we had the Supreme Court uh, issue a stay, which uh, has basically brought this to a grinding halt. And what my legislation says, and I don't think it's really a partisan idea, that uh, the state should not spend resources, time, effort, and energy in trying to uh, come up with a state plan until we know and we have a full adjudication of this process to determine whether or not it's even going to stand up in court. So explain the process. So, so there was a stay last week. What happens next? Right. What's going to happen next is that there's a federal court hearing uh, which will come and uh, we expect to see the, the ruling on that sometime uh, maybe the top of next year, end of this year, and that will give us some, some idea of how the court's going to rule. But the, the Supreme Court in issuing the stay, it means a couple of things. One thing, it means that if they were to go ahead and implement it, there could be irreparable harm to our state. And the second thing is, is that they feel that there is a good chance that the people who are uh, pursuing this, this litigation will prevail, including our state attorney general, Chris Coster. And it's not the only thing that um, legislators are mad about with the EPA. <laughs> Far from <laughs> it. This session. I mean, there's also clean waters. There are other things, right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. It's no secret that uh, there has been a struggle between the, the state's prerogative and the federal government's prerogative with regard to the EPA's uh, uh, motions here. So, so is it your feeling that, okay, let's say we let the state decide, then the state's going to make um, the state's going to make moves to protect its citizens' health. Absolutely. We do have a state uh, power plan. We spent a lot of time this fall and this summer trying to give input to craft a state power plan. And just as soon as we were done, uh, we found out that there was going to be the clean power plan coming from the federal government, which basically undercut all of the state's hard work. And uh, so that was disappointing to us to hear that. So in 10 seconds, what do you want to see happen? Well, I would like to just see, with regard to my bill, that the state does not spend any time or resources until we figure out whether this is going to hold up in court. All right. Wish we had more time to talk about it. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Nancy. Thank you for being here, and thank you for being here. We hope to see you next time on Newsmakers.